Welcome to my dorm room. Your dorm room is so small, you need to find a way to make it seem big. So like I have like my bedroom over here, my walk-in closet over here, my kitchen. I think we need more perspectives. morning everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't already know my name is Chantal and today is whoop I'm trying to find the light today is Monday the 12th of August and today is moving day I am moving in at Nova Southeastern University and I'm very excited so let's get going I'm gonna get some breakfast at IHOP We did a lot in the room, but we have a few more things to buy, like the fridge and the microwave, because we didn't want to buy those big things too soon. And now I know that I would like an extension cord and a rug. I'm more or less finished moving in I've done all the heavy lifting stuff so like mounting up things on the wall with command tape of course and arranging things the only thing I have to do is I have to get a few command strips to finish taking up some pictures on the wall I have a suitcase of clothes to fold and Cupboard area where they have drawers and cupboards. We don't really have everything. We don't have anything in them yet. And then on this wall, I put this up so it's just where's 390? So right now I'm here, so I'm gonna move this to here. My other roommates are on campus, one is in class. I need to put some tape here because it now looks nice, but yeah, that's cute. Our lights were working, but now they're not working. So we had to submit an application to get it fixed. These are my roommate's rooms. Obviously, I'm not going to go into them because that's their privacy. But we lock our door rooms when we leave in. But once we're here, we leave our door open. Welcome to my dorm room. As you walk through the door, I have this hook here, my keys here, so that as soon as I'm walking out to the door, I never forget that they're there. Then I have this mirror. I used command tape, hi, that's me. Enjoy my learning. I used command tape to put it up, and 
hopefully we'll stay up and pictures around my mirror. I put pictures around my mirror of like friends from back at home. Shout out to Danny, shout out Brittany and Jada, my cousin Dania, Brittany and Jada, Elise, Patricia, Pan friends, Rene, Gabby, Maya, shout you all out. This is my bed. You didn't see my sheets in my dome hole and that's because I bought it on the day that I went to Ikea and I didn't take them out of the car. But I recommend getting sheets from Ikea because there are... It like snaps open here and like you have to buy the filling for it separately but like when you want to wash your sheets you can just take the filling up fit in the washing machine in your dorm complex I have some more pictures on my wall all my friends an important moment hi mommy hi mom there are a lot of beach pictures because I love the beach this is my back wall this is my commencement stool that I got at convocation, which is like your welcome ceremony. And I love the significance behind it. Like, you know, it's the same stool that you're going to graduate with. And I, you can collect all your pins and put them on your stool. So I got my first pin, which was a shark pin. Of course, I have my flag on the wall. I have to represent where I came from. And some of you might be saying, you're so extra. You put your school tie on your wall it's not extra it's just pride and i know other people who have this school tie from the bishop rc high school on their wall under my bed i lofted my bed a bit so that i can put things underneath it i have my suitcases i have like extra drinks a case of water and i have all my shoes here and i also keep this stepping stool because you know I'm kind of tiny so I normally use my stepping stool to get onto my bed but sometimes I don't even use it this is my dressing table that came with the room on top I keep my steamer my hair products my friend gave me this picture thank you mom Maya I really like it more hair stuff my speaker and an alarm clock at night I can see what the time is but other than that, I don't use it for alarms because I can use my phone. So if you're trying to buy one as an alarm clock, I wouldn't recommend it. I also have an extension cord because the outlet is way over here. So I just like wrapped it around the edge of the bed and it hangs here. So it has my phone charger, my alarm clock charger, but I don't leave my steamer plugged in. So that cord just hangs here also. In my drawers, my parents got me these organizers. So I have like a sewing kit now these are some things you didn't see in my haul i believe this is called hem tape so like if the hem of your pants comes down you put on the tape and then you iron it on so but irons aren't allowed in my dorm so i tried to use my steamer i have some everyday like my watch and i normally keep my school in, which is on my hand we brush up on high school i normally keep it here here stuff medicine and band-aids and my jewelry organizer my album that my friends gave me which i love so i need it close to my bed so i can reach it i know i have my hat and stuff here my hair tie for when i'm going to sleep i kind of just squish it in the back i have oh, hair, hair, hair ties and band-aids in this drawer in this drawer I keep my sunglasses and my fake glasses, my locks, these are for my letter board, I have like cords in this one, batteries, command tape, waterproof phone juice and hair clips and I just keep this brush in the middle. My second drawer, I keep t-shirts and t-shirt dresses, so this is like my school drawer. I have a section which is the section dedicated to Nova t-shirts. This last drawer I keep miscellaneous items so like I have exercise clothes on this side. I have like formal dresses. I brought like two in case I have special events. These are like work attire because you might have interviews on stuff. And these are like my more dressy tops that I won't use every day but only use if like there's an event on campus. In the middle of my room, I have a pink rug that my parents got for me. 
Then we have the closet that the school provided. I think it's large enough for a dorm room. Keep all my sweatshirts and work. I'm professional, like my blazers, denim jacket. I keep those here, or like a regular jacket. On top here, I keep my toilet paper, my little bags that I get from home. An extra sheet set. This is hair to do over my hair. Which was supposed to happen like in maybe like a month again, but I'm kind of scared. They'll have a video of my struggle with doing over my entire head and braids. I also keep this backpack here. I only use this backpack for like if I have like a club meeting or stuff. I put things in that backpack. I don't use this backpack for school. Here is my, well, the package that I got it into a sweater organizer. But I don't use it as a sweater organizer because I need more space. I have sweater dresses and cardigans. I have skirts and swimsuits. Shorts. You're never going to have enough shorts. It's too hot out here to be wearing jeans. I have black dresses. More skirts and shorts. These are like hand towels, extra pillowcases, makeup, cloths, and towels. In the corner here, I keep my vacuum. My mom suggested that I got a vacuum. I have my shoe rack here, which is like more formal shoes. The other one was like everyday shoes because you're walking around campus all the time. And in the corner here, I keep my cleaning supplies and so on and like washing stuff this area is the area that i call my kitchen your dorm room is so small you need to find a way to make it seem big so like i have like my bedroom over here my walk-in closet over here my kitchen so i have this felt letter board i plan on changing it often I highly recommend getting one because it's something that changes and every time you see it, it could be different. If you buy one that already has words on it, it could get boring, but I think a college dorm room is an investment. I don't plan on changing my dorm room every single year. I plan on using the same things throughout the years. So if you want something that is almost transformational and you can get like different uses out of it, I would highly recommend getting it. So on top here, I have like this wall art deco. I use command tape to stick it so it doesn't always fall. I have like this little plant. I got it from, it's fake. I got it from Ikea. I have this coffee mug and I have a kettle, which I use to make tea. Here I have cups, bowls and plates and my cutlery. This side I keep my water bottle, my travel mug, like if I'm going to class with tea another like a tumbler ish cup i have another bag that my dad got me i got an nsu cup and some bowls and they have these drawers and this one i keep snacks i have popcorn nature valley welches i love gushers so gushers are in there and this one i have my vital supplies cricks from at home i bought a box of cricks and here i have cereal and Pringles. and here i have some hot chocolate from swissness then there i have a microwave and a fridge my fridge has some juices some soft drink water i have a brittle i also have some chocolate some philadelphia cheese to eat with my cranks and i have like a freezer so i can make like ice tree and so i can make ice cubes i actually left a drink like this on the top shelf right here and it froze so not sure what that's about this is my office my desk area i have a piece of wall art that my, my parents got me it says i have a lamp for if i'm staying at night come off these are from ikea it came in a set a picture of my parents shout out and so some of these I bought from home, like save yourself the money. If you have it at home, don't buy it again. I keep my computer, my laptop, my mirror. Right now I'm leaving my backpack on the table. I don't intend on keeping it there. I want to put like a mini makeup organizer there. 
my makeup, my makeup palette, and my nail polish. It's hard to reach it from here, so I want it on top of the table. I keep my box here. I have a safe which I keep like my passport and stuff in. This is the view that I have from my room. This is like the front of the building. And yeah, not really much. I keep my creams and deodorant and face cream here so I can get it quickly. This is another part of my office. So I have my clock, pictures from home. I have this whiteboard where I keep track of things. So like I keep a picture of my shadow here. My duty goes past here. Oh, I have a trash can here. And I mean it regularly or frequently, so I keep them on top. This thing that I bought, this, these containers. And the first I keep like my underwear and stuff that I wear under my clothes. In this drawer, I keep my home clothes. Why is this giving me so much trouble? So like my sweatpants, t-shirt, pajamas. Last I keep like cleaning products or like extras. I have a laundry bag. I mean, in a video I saw they said to get one with wheels, so I did. But I'm not looking all this down, this big thing down, so. This is my door. I keep my room on the back and I keep this mop because most of the time I leave my door open. So it just covers the mop. Yeah. That is my room tour. I probably missed something out. So if I find something, I'll put it in. I'm kind of whispering because I don't want to disturb my roommates. And I'm going to insert a clip here of the makeup organizer that I get for my room. Yeah. So my desk here mm -hmm. has this drawer that I keep things like stationary in like my my personal notebooks this drive that i can store stuff on calculator which i don't even think i need my push pens staples staples paper clips my mouse my top glue sticky notes like important flyers that i want to keep Flash drive, rubber bands. I have this smaller vision, but with this one, I can put like all my eyeshadow palettes inside. So that draw has eyeshadow palettes. So eyebrow shape, this is on the side. Lipstick, mascara, eyeliner, the brush tape. Here I have foundation, powders, concealer, primer, makeup, and rubber wipes. And of course, my beauty powder. I still have to get like a cup here, preferably white, to put like on my makeup brushes so I can move them from there. Thank you for watching this video and watching my room tour. I hope you got some useful information about dorm rooms, living in dorm rooms. You, you have someone that can benefit from this video, share it with them, like and subscribe if you want to. No pressure. See you for the next one.